everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is really really exciting because if you haven't seen the vlog already I got a puppy and I'm so excited about him his name is Jax so I went and bought a bunch of stuff for him because I haven't had a puppy in like almost five or six years my last dog was a shih tzu and this dog is a maltese a purebred maltese and i'm so excited to bring him into my little family i'm gonna be a mom i'm gonna be another mom i was a stepmom and now i'm gonna be a mom again so i just want to show some of the items that i bought for my dog i hope this video is helpful for anyone who is interested in a maltese or is looking into getting a maltese because i want to do frequent videos with my dog and what I have to go through with him because I think a Maltese is just a little bit different from a Shih Tzu but they're kind of the same in terms of their hair so without further ado let's get into this video. First things first my dog is a hypoallergenic dog. I started developing really really bad allergies with dogs over the years. I had an Akita when I was younger and then I had my Shih Tzu when I was in high school and while I was in college and then I'm gonna have a Maltese. I'm not sure if my Akita was hypoallergenic but I didn't have allergies as a child but when I got older uh, with my Shih Tzu I didn't have allergies but Shih Tzu is hyperallergenic as well. Once I got into my 20s, I started developing really, really bad allergies. I couldn't be around horses, whom I love. I can't be around cats or dogs without taking an allergy pill. So when I wanted to get another dog, I was really looking into a, I really looked into a hypoallergenic dog because I really needed to work for my allergies. So that's how I found my Shih Tzu. Um, I went through a breeder because I wanted a purebred Maltese that was certified by the American Kennel Society or the... Um, the CKC certification I wanted my dog to be legit because I didn't want to have any issues with him or her and I didn't want any issues with myself with the dog I needed to be a purebred whatever it was that was hypoallergenic the type of dog that I have is a boy if you guys didn't hear me say it before and I chose a boy because I didn't want to have to deal with girls and their periods my last dog um, she was a girl and she had a period and as much as I love dressing her up I couldn't stand following around her with a towel or putting a diaper on her because they have their periods when they're in heat and you have to um, look out for that and you have to watch them and make sure no one messes with them I just couldn't be bothered with that this time around so that's why I chose a boy so that's enough about the dog any other information about a Maltese I'll put it down in the description box below but let's get into this haul so, first thing that I got was a pet bed. I got him this cute little bed. Because I don't think they grow to be more than like three pounds. So I got him this cute bed. I don't expect him to maintain this bed from a puppy to an adult. I'm sure he's going to make a mess in it at some point. But I just wanted him to have a bed for comfort purposes. If I ever have to put him in his cage, he'll have his bed. So this is one thing that I got. I think it was $10 at... TJ Maxx. Next thing that I got was from Five Below. This was $4, $5. This is $5 from Five Below. And this is a mat for his crate. So if he, if I'm taking him somewhere to visit people and I have his crate, this will go in his crate if I don't want to put the bed in there. It's just something comfortable for him to lay on and hang out there when I'm not home and have to put him in his crate. Next item that I got was this um, placement mat for his bowl. This was also from Five Below, and I think this one was $4. Yeah, $4. This is his little placement to put his bowls on at the house so that he doesn't spill onto the floor or anybody's floor wherever I take him. So I bought this mat for him for his bowls. And it's kind of out of order, so forgive me. Next thing that I got, I'll go ahead and show you. This box is just his box for his items. This was from Ross for $8, $9 from Ross. And this is where I'll just put all of his little knickknack things. I bought a smaller one for um, Drew's house because I will be bringing him between my house and his house and I didn't want to have to transport too many things. So anything that I want to keep here, like his collar, his leash, it'll all go in here. Um, for Drew's house. Inside this box, I have 
a fur remover dual lint brush and this is for myself as well as the dog this is just to brush his fur but this is just to brush his fur and also get any fur off of me it's a dual brush and I want something soft that wasn't going to drive him nuts as I was brushing him because I do plan on brushing him every I won't say every day because I probably won't but every other day I want to brush him with this to maintain his fur now I am going to keep him in a puppy cut he's not his fur isn't going to grow out like all the other dogs will I'll keep his at a puppy cut just for less maintenance and it makes him look more like a boy other items in this box so I bought this set this is his harness set with a matching collar and it looks like Burberry he probably won't be able to wear this as a puppy but when he gets older this is going to be his um, standard collar and um, harness if I ever want to take him for a walk these are the things that I will put on him I got this really cute and that was $12 dollars from Amazon it also came with a leash that I'll show you guys oh, right here so this is a leash for this set $12 off of Amazon next item was this sweater I have it in another color somewhere I'll show you guys the other one because it's part of the set so this next item is his little sweater because I'm going to be getting him um I got him in December or I would have gotten him by the time you see this video, you'll know that I got him in December. So, December sweater. So, I got him this one, and it's gray. I also got him this cute little jacket, little blue jacket. This was from Five Below. This was from Amazon. I got two of them for, I think, $7 a piece, I think. So, I got this one, and then this jacket came from Five Below for $5. I'm keeping with the theme of blue, gray, green for some reason. I don't know why, but I just want to indicate that he's a boy. This last item that I got in this box is a little onesie <laughs> that he's going to wear for Christmas. I'm going to put him in it. I got it in an extra small. All my items that I bought are extra small because that's the size that they say are for Maltese puppies or Maltese dogs in general. So I got it in the extra small. So I got this cute little one piece for him to wear for Christmas moving right along I got I'll just show you the whole thing his carry on bag or his carrier that I just filled with stuff because it was just easier for me to carry this carrier I got from Amazon for $24 if not 25 and it has all these little compartments to it all these little openings this is for when I bring him home because I have to pick him up out of state. So this is his bag. It comes with these little compartments in them. I think that's a zip up part. So all these compartments. And what I added to them was these items. So I got these collapsible bowls. And these are just going to stay attached to his bag in case I go somewhere and don't want to bring his actual dog bowls. I bought these collapsible bowls that you can pop out like so. You can pop them out at different heights. So for water and for food, I bought a green one and I also bought one in blue to put his, this is the blue one, to put his water in as well as dog food so I don't have to worry about carrying his bowls inside the bag i have another jacket that i just threw in here so this is a green jacket from five below also five dollars his coming home clothes because i'm crazy and um i got them in these two so this sweater was from amazon like i said for seven or eight dollars these socks were actually gifted to me by drew's aunt so I have these little blue socks that match his sweater that I'm going to put on him when I bring him home. So super cute. Super excited about that. Next item, this is his collar that I got from Target. I believe it was $9 from Target. Stripe it collar. This is going to be his everyday collar that I'll put on him for everyday use. I got a bag of train pads. I'm getting more. I just wanted to grab some just so I would have them when I get ready to pick them up. These would already be um, prepared for him and I would have them. I'm going to buy a bigger bag. The recommended 
pads for puppies are the gel pads. These aren't gel pads. These are just regular training pads, but they're leak proof, five layers, and they have attractant on them so that the dog would know where to pee and poop. So that's why I bought this particular one. This was from TJ Maxx for $6. Or Ross, I'm sorry, Ross for $6. Next in the bag, I have some odor spray that my mom gave me. This is just general odor spray. So if he pees on anything, I just spray it. Hopefully he doesn't do that because we're going to train him immediately. Next, I got his dog bowls from my home. So he's going to have one that says food. I bought an extra one. Really, I bought one at a different color because they didn't have a water one. So I bought one that says food and I bought one that says water. So I can differentiate between the two. These are going to be kept at my house because it's better to give them a uh, ceramic rather than metal bowls. So that's that. I bought him an extra set of bowls. I came across these bowls first before I came across the other bowls, but I said I'll just use these bowls for Drew's house. So they'll be stationary at his house. These are just black bowls that I got for $3 at TJ Maxx. Nothing special about them. They're just basket weaved bowls. I have his first toy that he's gonna have when, he, when I bring him home. This was $3 from Ross, just a little random toy. I thought it was funny because it was an elephant, you know. I'm an SG girl, so you can chew on this little elephant, buddy. Chew on that, no hard feelings. Lastly, right, yeah. Lastly, one of the few items that I got, because it's gonna be Christmas, I bought him his own stocking stuffer, or his own stocking for stocking stuffing, and our dogs have these, so Buddy has one, and now Jax will have one, so we have one for him now. Last item that I have in this box, we have his, oh, sorry, I like one of the last things, I have his retractable leash. This is from Two Gear on Amazon. It's a extra small leash, it goes to about 10 feet, when I do get ready to train him for walking, this will be his leash for that. And I just like the retractable leash more than the regular leash because you have a little more control with the dog. Um, because he has, oh, and it also comes with, I forgot to mention because I put him in here. The leash, retractable leash also comes with its own poop bag holder and poop bags. It came with three bags, so you can attach this to the retractable leash. And when you take him out on a walk, if you poop somewhere he's not supposed to, you can take it out of the poop holder bag and pick it up with your bags and you just twist it off like so. And there's the bag right there. I had three of these, so become prepared with that. So and I'm also gonna keep some poop bags in this actual bag too, should I need it, but that'll be in there. Lastly, I have his tear stain combs because with Maltese they cry or water and debris gets in their eyes and it'll drain to right here that's why you see a lot of dark lines right here between their eyes so I have the combs to help with that I don't know how effective these are going to be and I'm going to test all these products and let you guys know how it goes in the future but I have this little comb to comb in his uh, tear ducts and then I also have these combs for his fur, so I have this kind of large one, this little rectangular one, and then one that looks like an actual comb with a handle on it. So these are the items that I got for him. So when you empty the bag, this is pretty much what you get. <laughs> this is what you get, so plenty of space in it. And it also has a little section for me to put my information on it so people will know that it's my dog. And then it comes with a belt to attach to the seat of the car. And it comes with this little pad already in the bag as well. So I'm going to put pee pads on top of this bag. It is machine washable, but I'm going to put pee pads on top of this bag so that he's not tempted to um, pee on the fur. And you can just take the cardboard out and pop this in the washing machine and be done with it that way. One more thing, so sorry. I ran into this at Ross and it was just a cute little keychain and collar charm set. So, but the mug says I prefer dogs over people, which is so true about me, prefer 
and any animal over a person. And then it came with these keychains that say best friends forever. So eventually I'm going to take this keychain, which is his dog tag, and put it on his collar like so. Because I haven't gotten an official tag for him yet, so I'm just going to stick this on there for him. And then I'm going to put this one that says best friends on my keychain. So that's how we're going to do that. That pretty much explains all the things that I got for my dog. Y'all probably think that I'm crazy and a little obsessive. But I'm just so excited about getting another dog. So I wanted to get all the things out of the way and make sure that I had everything for him. I didn't want to miss anything. I do have to buy his dog food. I already got the recommendation for the dog food that he needs. If anyone has any recommendations on what to do about tear stains, I would greatly appreciate it. Because I haven't, I have his vet appointment set up, but I don't know what to do about tear stains for him. So any information that you guys can provide in regards to that would be great. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're dog lovers, give me a thumbs up. If you have a Maltese of your own, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.